I know I already responded to you in the comment section, so I'm not calling you out, but this comment is a good learning experience for people, so I wanted to make a video about it. God gets to pick when his Sabbath is, and he chose Saturday. We don't get to pick when God's Sabbath day is to fit our schedule. It's God's day. It's not ours. Yes, he intended it as a day of rest, but it is a sign for his people because you can follow the world's Sabbath or you can follow God's Sabbath. That being said, I get it. My wife had to work most Sabbaths for a very long time up until recently, and even I occasionally have to work Sabbaths, but that doesn't change what day the Sabbath is. If you have to work Saturdays, I get it, okay? And it sucks, you know? Nobody wants to work Saturday whether it's the Sabbath or not. But if you have a desire to follow God's ways, I would pray to him about it. I would say, Father, I really, really want to honor your Sabbath, but I work this day. The door has not been opened for me. Please, please help me out. See if there's something you can do. It may take a while, but God will open doors for you. It's happened for many, many, many people, including my wife. But again, this doesn't change what day the Sabbath is. So we need to understand that God gets to pick his day. He gets to pick his everything, okay? It's his way or the highway. If you're God's people, you do it his way. If you're not God's people, you do it your own way. Because the sad fact of the matter is that there's two ways to do things. This applies all throughout life. There is your own way of doing things, and then there's God's way of doing things. And if you are God's people, if you want to be God's people, you submit to him. You submit to his ways, and you do the best that you can under the circumstances you have to walk out God's way of doing things, just like Yeshua did, just like Jesus when you submit to the Father and choose to be his people, you have to do your best to do things his way. I get it. None of us are perfect. We all stumble. We all occasionally break God's laws, even if we're really, really, really trying not to. But we have to do our best. It's a heart issue at the end of the day. Do you want to do it God's way or do you want to do it your own? That is the big difference. That is what makes you a person of God or not. Is it his way or is it your way? And the Sabbath is the biggest first step to that. It's the fourth commandment. The Sabbath ne never went away. No matter what people tell you, the Sabbath is here and we're supposed to do it God's way still. So you can choose to try and do it the best you can or not. But at the end of the day, God still gets to choose and he chose already.